Come on here. Takes me about half an hour to do these marquee matchups. French. Center forward. Icon. What? Who? Cantona. <laughs> what? Cantona. What the f- Yes, guys, your eyes were really not deceiving you like I thought mine were. We packed Eric Cantona, baby Cantona, and this is one of the times where it doesn't feel real. I opened the pack and I was like, French, send her forward. Who is this going to be? And then I obviously I saw Icon. I had no idea we were going to get Eric Cantona. To be honest, I totally forgot he was in the game and... Yeah, we haven't even had an intro. Welcome back to the Road to Glory, guys. This is probably going to be a bit of a shorter episode than normal. Maybe we'll talk for a bit longer. I'm not too sure. But I just wanted to bring this, guys, this video to you guys on a Saturday morning to show you probably my best ever pack pull in any FIFA. Probably rivals the Shapeshifter Ronaldo. I believe packing a card this early in the game is absolutely insane. And it's crazy because... I almost went and bought the Atletico Madrid badge. I think I even bought the Atletico Madrid badge. And I was thinking, you know, I said on stream, this is going to be like a, fr a France. Maybe it's just a nice change. Go from the Atletico Madrid badge to the France badge. Maybe it's just a nice change. And I honestly believe that it's got some sort of link with the Cantona. It's absolutely crazy. But when he came and was stood there in the pack, I thought, is this a loan? Is this a loan Cantona that I have just uh, got myself? Because obviously we have the loan Cantona here. I thought we've obviously just got like a pre-order edition of Cantona. I've opened the wrong pack and then obviously I saw that the pack was actually there when I clicked through. I saw the Benzema I thought, wow, we have actually just got Eric Cantona from Marquee Matchups, which is just crazy. And guys, make sure you do your Marquee Matchups. You'll probably get no boards like I did for the past few years, but that one pack can be absolutely ridiculous. And uh, yeah, Eric Cantona joins fr uh, the French team... We are trying to build Martial, Pogba, Mendy. Maybe get that info maximin. Maxim in. But I said in the episode, the last episode, should we get Pogba or should we go ahead and get ourselves? I think it was Rashford. We can afford Rashford now. I've sold Kai Havertz because Eric Cantona will be our false nine. Kai Havertz is gone. We made a bit of a loss on him. I think he went down by 10,000 coins. Obviously tax as well. But the team, we got Paul Pogba. Paul Pogba is absolutely superb this year in FIFA and he is a great addition to the team. Five star, four star, six games, one goal, six assists from a centre mid position. The team is feeling superb and I think the formation, the tactics, I'm going to do a solo video on them. But I'm using a 4-4-2. 4-4-2 for me seems like the best formation in FIFA hands down but not getting away from Eric Cantona guys. This card is worth around 2.3 to 2.4 million. And honestly, I think he'll only rise in price. The crazy thing about Cantona is we could sell Cantona, we could get Mbappe and Neymar in here and they would fit perfectly. Uh, we'd probably have to get like Alex Tellez or something, but that would work. Mbappe and Neymar. But I think it's so cool to have a first owner, Eric Cantona. And I think his price is only going to rise, to be honest. If you look at the likes of Eusebio from last year, his price just started off around 2 million, 3 million, went up to 4 million. I think Eric Cantona... I've played one game with him. He was absolutely ridiculous. And you will see the highlights. I'm just going to run them in the background. But yeah, Eric Cantona was just crazy, guys. And yeah, I, I don't really know where to take this series now. It's almost like we have packed an amazing player already. We have packed an amazing player already. And that just doesn't seem right to me. Because this doesn't often happen in this game. I think sometimes you will go months and months. Packing nothing, packing nothing. Then one time you maybe pack a player who's worth 100,000 coins. I think last year some of my best pulls came towards the end of the year. To get it on the first day, we have to keep this Eric Cantona at least minimum for one weekend league. And I know that it might um, it might seem daft to be like only one weekend league. It's just because I want to keep this series fresh and I want to keep it interesting for you guys. But I think having Eric Cantona in the team is symbolic and hopefully... We can build around him. Hopefully the pack look can continue. But yeah, it's just it's just crazy to be honest. I did not expect to see it on the Friday morning, the release of the full game. And we still have my ones to watch pack, which will already have been uploaded by the time this video is actually out. Hopefully we got a team of Werner, we got a Teles, we got a Bale. Imagine a Bale in our team instead of a Dharma Traore. Although we had Bale, I didn't really like him too, too much. Maybe he'll do well at Spurs. We don't know. We don't know how he will do at Spurs, but... 
Yeah, the pack pull is absolutely crazy. And I don't know what to do with the team. As I said before, do we get Mbappe, Neymar? Do we get Cristiano Ronaldo and Messi? What would you do with these coins? Or what would you do with the player? Would you keep him? Obviously, you can see he's absolutely amazing. I think the best thing about Eric Cantona this year is the fact that the four-star weak foot... Although he does miss, it seems more about the 5-star skill moves. So guys like Eusebio who have 5-star weak foot, 4-star skill moves, maybe Eric Cantona is the new type of Eusebio this year. That baby Eusebio last year was ridiculous, even at the end of the game. Can Eric Cantona continue to be amazing throughout the whole year? Can you imagine if we had 1,000, 2,000 games on this card? And I, th I think what the best thing about this Cantona is, we get to use him in FIFA Ultimate Team Co-op. Co-op edition has been so fun for me to play that mode. I've been playing a bunch of Division Rivals matches with people from the stream, friends outside the stream, and it is just really fun. You can just get a great feel of the game. You can have fun. It means more to score and defend when you are doing it with friends. And I think that when we've got a card like Cantona, we can share it with, with friends. But Cantona's card itself it is crazy. 86 acceleration, 88 sprint speed. He's got 90 stamina. 89 strength, 91 aggression, 91 jumping. I mean, does he karate pe karate kick people from the stands? I don't think he does, which is a good thing. But 87 agility, 85 balance, 92 composure. I think this is a prime example of a card which is only 88 rated. If you consider he's only 88 rated, and this guy will play like a 93, 94 rated card. He's got the flare trait, outside the foot shot trait, power header trait, technical dribbler, chip shot, playmaker, long shot taker. He's got it all, guys. He literally has everything. And me being a Man United fan, having this Eric Cantona card in my club is very, very special. And I think we're going to try and get Rashford in the team. Alex Tellez wants to watch. We've already got wan -Bissaka. I think it'll just make a whole lot of fun actually continuing this series, continuing to push as far as we can with this team. And hopefully, guys, it makes for an entertaining series for you guys too but we're off to an amazing start it is only the beginning though we haven't even hit five episodes on the road to glory and we've already packed baby Cantona. but just a quicker video for you guys on this saturday morning i hope you guys are having a great weekend i'll catch you all in the next one